first time this year, Raleigh Wooster will not start. In fact, Stephen Ashworth will start for the Aggies. That's interesting because uh, Wooster has played so well. And then the starting five for Boise State, they are a seasoned group. Behind Leon Rice, the all-time winningest coach in Boise State history. We'll tell you about that a little bit. You see both of the coaches wearing the towels in honor of the late, great John Thompson. Here we go. The first of two, and the tip is controlled by Boise State, Pete. Give you a great game, Tom, for sure. Boise State, the leading scoring team in the Mountain West, and Utah State, the second best team defensively in points allowed in the Mountain West. That's going to be a foul on the floor, and we'll see if it's a push on Armouche or if it's going to go against Kata. Foul trouble is a big deal in this ball game, Pete. Giant. Whichever big guy gets in trouble, boy, that's going to really affect their team. Well, it is called on Kata, so the shot clock at 20. Kata is arguably the best player in the conference, although there's some others that will say that you know, some of the guards are even better. Here's Alston on the catch, the plant, and the little touch off the glass. Nice underneath out-of-bounds play by Boise State. Alston gets off to a terrific start. It's been 13 days since Utah State last played a game. We'll see how rusty they are. Leon Rice, the uh, head coach for Boise State, said, well, they had a lot of time to prepare for us. Yep. Kata from the elbow. No good. Rebound is loose. And Armouche with the board. That's a tremendous battle between Armouche and Kata, Tom. That's going to determine the game in a lot of ways. Who gets in foul trouble? And Bean with the steal. We wondered about the matchup. Would Bean be on Alston? Yeah, that's going to be a turnover to the open floor. Boise will just let it roll out of bounds. That's smart. That's Maurice Shaver, excuse me, Marcus Shaver, the outstanding guard from Phoenix, Arizona. That's a problem for Utah State. They're a terrific team, but 14 turnovers a game. That's too many for a quality team. Speaking of that, Pete, let's lead us into your keys. Utah State, take care of the rock. That's not a good example. That's a turnover. Own the glass. They're a great rebounding team. The Broncos get hot from downtown. That's very, very important. They do that. They do a great job taking care of that so uh boise state big thing the uh all right let's look at the last one you get catering to foul trouble that's we see they got one so uh that's important whoever wins that battle down low between almush and kata that's going to be key both of them are wailing away at each other shaver takes the inbounds gets it to alston covered out front by miller key jab fakes the handoff Backs his way in, caught in a double team. That leaves Armouche open underneath, and off the glass, it's good. It's four zip, Boise State. Boise State's tough at home. We talked about it, Tom, before. 21 out of 22 at home. So they're really on a roll playing in uh, Boise. Here's Anthony along the baseline. Little curl into the paint. Leader off the back of the iron, no good. Armouche with another board. That's important. Tremendous rebounder. When he was born, the doctor hit him on a ghoulie, and he said, rebound, rebound. <laughs> that was the first words he spoke. Shaver doesn't get the ball to roll off the rim. Kata with the board. Kata averages nearly 10 rebounds per game. Anthony open for three, and it's no good. Well, we wondered how Utah State would come out, being off for 13 days. Shaver, right side of the lane, off the glass, no good. The ball is tipped Ooh. in and out. Bean almost tipped it in for Boise. Yep. Ashworth. To oh, Miller. Is a great offensive rebounder. He had seven last game against UNLV on the offensive glass. Miller's picked up by Shaver on the switch. He gets it to Kato on the baseline. High arcing shot is good. That's where his game has improved, I think. Wow. Got so much better. He's a junior. He really improved his game offensively. He got stronger. Tremendous future for that young man. Two-point lead for the Broncos. Key jab off the high screen, and he lost control. Second turnover. Here comes Anthony into the open floor. Shot blocked by Key jab, picked up by Bean, blocked from behind. Count the buckets. It's going to be goaltending against the Boise State. Nice block by Key jab. Nope. Goal 10 that time. AJ Dennis. Tied up at four. 
Alston, his three is good. Nothing but net. Watch where he takes his shots today, folks. If you haven't seen Derek Alston Jr., he can play inside and he can play outside. That's why he's so talented. 7-4. Brock goes up. Kata down low against Armouche. Backs his way in. Shot clock at 12. Lost control. Got it back. Lost it again. Armouche with the steal. Interesting. No double team that time, Tom. And now Alston lost it. And then falls to the floor and asks for a timeout. And the Broncos will get the timeout. State. But San Diego State has Fresno State tomorrow and Saturday. Colorado State's been excellent. Off the timeout, Broncos with the basketball. Yep. See, Kate is out of the game now. They're worried about foul trouble for him. So while the baseline, Austin. Austin fadeaway, jumper over Ashworth is good. That's what we were talking about. He hits the three, but then he hits something like that also. Yeah. Well, he made the first layup early, so his confidence, and as we talked about before, his last game was unbelievable against UNLV. 27 points, 6 for 8 on three-point land on Saturday. Bean outside to Anthony, off the screen, double teamed on the baseline. Dean for three. It's no good. An easy rebound for Shaver. Again, Raleigh Wooster, the freshman point guard who usually starts, has not played yet for Utah State. Miller on Alston, right side of the lane, doesn't get the finish and the battle for the jump ball. And it's going to be a foul on Armouche. The big size disadvantage that time, 6'9 against 6'2. And uh, Alston just raised up, shot over Ashworth, the freshman. Armouche. A lot of fouls. He fouls during warm-up sometimes, Tom. <laughs> very aggressive. I don't think it's a bad idea, though, if he goes out while Kata is out, too. Yep. He's having a great year for the Broncos. Almost. Dorius flies the screen up top. Anthony, right side of the lane, leaves it inside for Bean. Beautiful cut and finish. Great pass by Anthony. Transfer from the University of Virginia. Nice finish inside. Three-point lead for the Broncos. Shaver has the ball knocked away. Hands have been good for the Aggies. Key jab in the paint, kept his pivot foot, got the roll. He's a key guy. He's been struggling a little bit in the last couple of games. And uh, the last six games, the Broncos were only three and three. Key jab is a key part of their success. A great defender and a good scorer. Miller's first shot of the night. And the rebound by Anthony. The ball rolling around the rim. And Dorius had it for a moment and a foul underneath. Here's Alston. This is how good he's been. This is what Pete was talking about. Off the glass. That's pretty nice, right? Yeah, nice pump fake. Mid-range game. Knocks it down. Here he goes. He just shoots over Ashworth. The score at all three levels. A tremendous play of the preseason. Player of the year in the Mountain West Conference. He's on a roll right now, Tom, as we mentioned before. Great game on Saturday, 27 points. Miller on the baseline off the inbounds, and he gets that one to go. That could get him going, too, and that's important. Yeah. He's playing with a tremendous amount of confidence. You know, and I talked to Craig Smith the other day, and he said his confidence has zoomed. Max Rice in the game for the first time. And Armouche with the two-handed jab. Young man from Serbia, Tom. I coached over in Serbia for a while. We place called Novi Sad and Shabbats. Notre Dame, we visited, and Liga Phelps was at a graduation, so I, I coached against a national team, and I'm still recovering. We got a bell run, but it was a great experience coaching over in Serbia. We got a Notre Dame team. Bear Stoke gives it off to Anthony, who had a clear path right to the basket and lays it in. Got to get some help defense, Tom. That was not good. Team 10, Boise State on top. Here comes Shaver from the free throw line. Kicks it out for Alston for three. And Kata back in with the rebound. Alfonso Anderson in the game for the first time. Kata, he can make that shot. He does it that time. Alston with the rebound. I keep him that shot anytime he wants, Tom. 
if I'm the Broncos, rather than in the paint, yeah. going and getting a three-point play and getting in foul trouble. Foul, foul will be called on Bearstow. By the way, there is Raleigh Wooster, who is uh, on the bench. He usually starts, but unfortunately, he is in a boot. That's too bad. And obviously in street clothes, so he will not be available tonight for Utah State. We knew something was up, Pete. Yep. He's having a great freshman year. Ten points a game. Assists, about three assists. He's really a mature freshman. Acott, fadeaway jumper. And Armouche battling with Kata. Yeah. What a pass, too. And the put-in is there for Shaver. How about Armouche? He gets in the mud. He gets in the glue. He gets in bloody nose lane, Tom. He mixes it up. <laughs> Four rebounds already. I'll make a comeback. I'm going to try to get him in the transfer. Yeah, the transfer from East Tennessee State. When he came over from Serbia, he said, I, I wasn't planning on even coming to the States to play. And the, old, and the hook shot by Kato. Yep, that's where he's got to stay. Stay down there. Stay in a low post, big fella. Forget the jump shot. You can make that, but those that shots... High percentage down low. Under 12 to play here in the first half. Shaver from the free throw line. That is an athletic move over the top of Ashworth. Shaver is a volume shooter. He gets it. Got to get a lot of shots, like he did at Portland, where he transferred from. Set out last year. He, more shots he gets, the hotter he gets. Ashworth throws it off the leg of Shaver. Sheer 21 for his career. He'll take a break. He has 31 games in his career with 10 rebounds or more. Tremendous rebound, especially in the offensive end. It's fabulous going to the glass. Ashworth goes inside to Anderson. Anderson against Kijab. Now yeah, they're going to get Kijab for the foul. You just yep. can't lean on the body. Yeah, you can't keep banging. You, yep. He was trying to wall up, but he kept moving into him a little bit too much. Good call. All right, so the shot clock goes to 20. Three fouls for Boise State, two for Utah State. Anderson trying to get some separation. Kijab so good defensively, and that is a tough pass. Yeah, that's bad pass by Anderson that time. Kata wasn't ready for it. Once again, the turnovers are a concern for Utah State. It's the third one. The average 14 a game, which is way too many for a quality team. Now the Broncos back on offense. Shaver off the high screen. By Armouche, key jab. Feeds it. Acott. Acott in the paint. One-handed shot in and out. Armouche with the rebound. His putback is blocked by Kata. And the bounce pass inside. And a foul from behind on Anderson. That foul at Anderson is his first. Yep. And substitutions back in Miller and Bean for Utah State. Yep. Kate is a great shot blocker, Tom, as you know. Three a game. You got a pump fake, though, against him. And key jab off the glass. It's 19 12 with under 11 minutes to play, and the foul goes on Bean. Key jabs the key. If he has a good game, great chance the Broncos could come out with a win. And he plays well. It's double figures. They win almost every time. When he struggles a little bit, Sometimes the Broncos struggle. Well, he's to the free throw line. Try to make this an eight-point game. He does. 14 points in the paint for Boise so far. Wow. That's surprising with the big guy inside. Yep. Kata protecting the paint. It's impressive. The Broncos. These are both NCAA tournament teams, Tom, in my opinion. Yeah, and they're difficult NCAA tournament teams. Bear stole for three. Wow. He's hot and cold, but he's going well. Big boost. For the Aggies. Youngest of seven children. His sister Stephanie played two years at Utah State. Shaver inside the arc. Pete Carrillo used to hate when guys used to do that, Pete. When you're that close to the three, he said, ah, just take the three. Exactly. Life is short, Tom. Shoot threes. That's my fault. Shaver called for the foul. That's the fourth foul on Boise State.
Bear stole on the baseline, off the side of the rim. Kato with the rebound of the two-handed jam. They bounce that time for the Aggies. Six points for Kata. And the lead is three. It was eight at one point. Off the leg of Key Jab and Bean forces the turnover. Utah State beat five for its last seven. That's a good sign for their shooting. Yep, for sure. Good hustle. Ball gets deflected. Comes right to the big fella Kata and sends it home. Right place, right time. Tom, if I'm playing against Utah State, I'm pressing them. I'm pressing them. We're coming after them. They got good players, freshman point guards, both of them. So I go after them. They turn the ball over a lot. I put some pressure on if I'm Boise State. And Kata got great positioning to be able to slam that one home. And almost gambled. He can't gamble. He gambled and he lost. Well, this is a 7 0 run for Utah State. Acott trying to answer that. So is Alston. Little teardrop, and it's good. Well, he's playing great right now, boy. He's on a mission, trying to bring the Broncos back to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2015. Leon Rice said it's such a calming influence having Alston because there are times where he, sh he battles for everything, but there's also times, like last game, yep. and even tonight he's got nine, where everything comes fluidly. Yeah. And the three is good from Ashworth to answer and tie this game at 22. Great game. You know, with, with Alston, now once again, 6'9", Tom, he's shooting 42% from three-point land, which is amazing for a guy 6'9". Dennis gives it up top. Acock, he can handle the basketball. Kept his pivot foot. Three is in and out. Ball is loose, out of bounds. Key jab, touched it last for Boise State. Got some substitutions with the game tied at 22. You mentioned Kijab struggling, Pete. Even in the foul game, he was struggling. Yeah, three last three games, he's had more fouls combined than he had in the previous eight games. Wow, made a deep dive, Tom. I mean, that's right. I'm sleeping. You're working on the game. You're digging down, <laughs> peeling the onion. That's true. But he's a very good defender, but he's very physical. So he gets some fouls called. Kada having an advantage, can't finish. Key jab with the rebound. Acott. And now Alston back to Key Jab. Kept his pivot foot covered by Miller. Hmm. Cheerleaders are there. 900 fans are in the house as well at Extra Mile Arena. Leon Rice, we asked him, he said, you think you'll hear it? He goes, oh, we're going to hear it all right. No, that's a lot. Make a lot of noise. 900 fans can make a lot of noise. Here's Alston over the top of Miller, and he's going to go to the free throw line for two. Brock Miller called for the foul. Big guy can back in. He's 6'9", long. Just jumped over Miller. Miller's 6'5", so big differential. Alston is 84% peak from the free throw line. As a team, they're near 78%. Or 73%, excuse me. And he makes the first one. He's got 10. Alfonso Anderson back in. Maybe a little more size maybe going against Alston. We'll see if Alfonso Anderson guards Alston next time down, Tom. We'll see. And Miller has two fouls. That's with, probably the biggest reason. Yeah, right? 747 to play here in the first half. Alston converts both. 11 points for Derek Alston Jr. Just telling the wall up and try to block the shot. <clears throat> get the ball to Kata down low. Going against a young man, Milner. Yep. Not real strong. Play Division two basketball. Anthony converts the three to make it a 24-24 game. Actually, 25-24. It's 7.15 to play. They may look at that last yeah, three-pointer. Whether it's a two or a three, yep. right? Alston for three. Makes it look easy. Shoots 42% from downtown. 6'9". 
Got a future. He'll make a lot of money someday, Tom. Playing basketball at the next level with NBA or Europe. We'll see. Under seven minutes to play. Kata cut off by Kijab with some health defense. Get in the ball. Go inside, big fella. Miller, you're about 40 pounds stronger than him. Anthony goes out. Shot clock at four. Stolen away by Dennis. He and Acott run on the floor. And Anderson with the rebound. And Kata does that as smooth as anyone. Four-point play. Two the Broncos didn't get. Two the Aggies finished. So Ray J. Dennis has had a terrific year, but he's struggling the last couple of games. Point guard's important. When your point guard plays well, you play well. When he struggles, usually your team struggles. Now there's the steal by Anthony. Long bounce pass to Ashworth. Anthony working against Austin. And they call an offensive foul on Anthony. Good call. You see, Bean with the alley oop. Kata with the finish. Makes it look easy. Wow, look at this. He liked it. <laughs> how, do, how do you not like it? Yeah. Tremendous young man, besides being an outstanding player. Craig Smith's done a fabulous job with the Aggies. Won the Mountain West postseason tournament two in a row. And I tell you what, they're going to be tough to beat. Also, I think when it comes in a few weeks, they're going to be right there at the end. I don't know if they'll win it, Tom, but they don't bet against them. They're a great team. Just uh, was awarded a new contract five more years after this season. Austin from the free throw line, hard off the back of the iron. And here comes Ashworth, or she's Barstow. Anthony in the paint, a foul on the floor. They're attacking Max Rice. Good offensive player, maybe a half step, a little slow. Trying to drive on him, getting foul trouble. Coach's son, he's had a terrific year. He's a redshirt sophomore, tremendous shooter. Yeah, Leon talked to us about that, coaching his son. He said they talked to a number of different coaches, you know, Fran McCaffrey, Steve Alford, guys like that. Uh, asked him about coaching his son. They said it is hard, but it is worth it. And I think he realizes that too. Being along the baseline, no good. Armush with the rebound. Another rebound. Every one of the coaches he spoke with, Tom, said, I would do it. Definitely yeah. do it. It's a great, great experience. Some challenges that we asked, what's the biggest challenge? Well, I don't want to take my son out of the game because I know he's a team player and he'll, I don't want to hurt him. I want to be fair to him. I don't want to overcompensate for him so he'll understand. Little matchup zone by Utah State. With Kata on the bench. Shot clock is at five. Acott up top. Rice for three. And a rebound by B. Utah State can take the lead here. Under five minutes to play in the first half. The leaner is no good. And Acott with the board. Acott's playing point guard. He's very versatile, Tom. He can play the one, two, three, or four with the Wasatch Academy. Turnover. That Bearstow is fouled in the open floor by Rice. Yep. A gentleman named Curtis Condi, who coached at Wasatch Academy. Uh, he coached Acott, and he uh, he really said he was really excited to play this game. There's Leon Rice and his son Max Rice. He's, he said that he's never walked away thinking, "All right, I didn't play him too much right. in a game." Yeah. No, he he says I don't want to you know take advantage and you know. Hinder my son because he's right. my son and you know, take him out. I want to give him equal time everybody else gets, you know, th that he deserves. And it's, uh, he's a great guy, Leon Ross, dean of the Mountain West coaches. Done a fabulous job here with the Broncos. And uh, I think they're going to go back to the big dance along with uh, Utah State this year. Boise State scoreless over the last two minutes. Anthony for three for Utah State. Tried to bank it home. And a foul inside. Uh, that'll be the eighth team foul on Utah State. And it'll be a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Boise. That'll send Max Rice to the free throw line. Milner back in. The 
the officials are just trying to make sure that they know a who committed the foul and who is shooting the foul they've decided that it is max rice that is shooting the foul front end of the one and one boise stayed on top 27 26 and it's good Coming soon, catch the Missouri Valley Conference semifinals on CBS Sports Network March 6th, followed by the championship game on CBS March 7th. Get ready for Arch Madness, the Missouri Valley Conference tournament presented by State Farm. I did that last year, and it was a great tournament to do. You enjoyed it, Tom, right? I last did. year, great city, St. Louis. Tremendous town, and it's a wonderful tournament. Missouri Valley tournament. 29-26, Boise State on top. Bear Stowe. Inside for Anthony. Milner there to help, and Anthony will go to the free throw line. Marco Anthony, the transfer from Virginia during the national championship year. He played in 35 games, made no starts, did play in the national championship game. He usually guards the opponent's best player, and he's getting valuable minutes with Utah State. Second leading score. Does a lot of good things for the Aggies. He's been double digits in two of the last three games. He has five right now. One for two from the line. Kato with the offensive rebound. A little jump and a trap. Yep. He's lucky he didn't get a foul on that one, Tom, on that offensive rebound. What a tremendous player. The best big man in the country, Tom. Sixth leading rebounder in the country. It's blocks. Six leading blocks. Neither team has had a field goal in the last couple of minutes. Here's Alston. Ball stripped away. Utah State with excellent defense. They're one of the best defensive teams in the country. Yep. Hold their opponent to 61 points a game. It's tremendous. They're going to get eight cups. But you can make your bread and butter down low, especially, I think, against the Broncos. To the free throw line, 61% for the year, makes the first one. I think you bring up a good point because what he'll find, too, and obviously Craig Smith knows this, you set that screen up top, and then you roll and yep. get yourself set up in yep, the paint. Exactly. You're going to be open yep. and in a good position. Yep, I'd like to see him go down, pick and roll, yep. We saw a pick and pop, we saw on, on the highlights, which is fine. But I think for the most part, Tom, stay down low, big fella. Stay down low. Well, we are tied up at 29. Field goals have been tough to come by until our Moosh lays it in. He has six points to go along with seven rebounds. It's a good nice look by Austin. Well, Moosh is doing a nice job. Six points playing against Kata. Anderson for three, no good. Alston with the rebound, his third. Not a good shot. Defend was on him. Kata was free. Get the ball to the big guy. Let the big dog eat. Alston, a little long with that one. Kata pulls down the rebound. Number five for Kata. He has it up top to Anthony. Now that's going to be an illegal screen set yep. by Utah State. Yep, can't do that. The last couple of years, it's been a big emphasis. Here we go. Dribble handoff. Austin attacking the basket. Nice pick and roll. Good finish inside. Nice pass by Austin. Good finish by the big guy, Amush. So Miller will take a seat, Pete. That's three fouls on him. Now remember, uh, Raleigh Wooster is out in a boot so their guards are even diminished more shaver for three off the rim anthony with the rebound shaver's a great shooter but he's not getting many touches tom that's why he's cold here's anthony off the glass he made a good move switching hands anthony's been extremely aggressive really attacking all the time i like that transfer from virginia and he has seven first half points alston trying to answer Covered by Anthony, slices through the defense, doesn't get the roll, and his put back is off the side of the rim. Here comes Bean. The ball to the big guy, let him touch it. He's getting mugged by Almush. Yeah, good call. 
So Arbus called for his second personal foul. Anthony shaking bake, attacking the basket, little Euro step, nice finish. Anthony in the paint. Amush with two fouls. I'd get him out now. While I'm coaching Leon Rice, he's got two. I want to get him in third down the last 216. And then Kata goes back to the free throw line. And here comes Milner. He comes in. Our moose checks out. Now Milner's a good player, Tom, but he's coming from Division Two. Good player, but once again, Kata against Milner, it's a mismatch. I'd go right to the big guy, Kata, next time down in the low post. Screen him into the post. Get him the ball. He's had a solid first half. Kata has 13 points. He's three for three from the free throw line. 13 points, five rebounds. Tremendous player. Second shot is good. Nothing but net. The lead is two for Utah State, and they've clamped down the defense, too. Yep. Now we need Ray J. Dennis to step up now. Try to penetrate, create shots for your offensive guys. He's number 10. Alston along the baseline, and a foul on the floor. They're going to get, I guess they're going to get Ashworth for the with the foul. Yep. That's his first. Yeah, a little body to body. It was close. Could have gone either way, but I think it was a good call. He was moving. It was close. Alston, who started his career as a red shirt, was 148 pounds when he came to Boise wow. State. His dad is the head coach of the Westchester Knicks in the G League. Leon Rice told us the other day. He said, listen, we redshirted him because it was more for his safety than anything else. <laughs> I coach against his dad. His dad played at Duquesne, as you know. When I was at Xavier in Cincinnati, we played him. He's a tremendous player. His dad. Did you coach him? Did you coach against him well? Yeah. No, he did good. Yeah, he was a very good player. And a foul called on Utah State. You saw the clapping of the hands by Milner as he was running out of the pile. And Kata charged with his third turnover. That's two fouls on Kata. Yep. Big call. He's only fouled out of one game all season, Tom. He commits 2.3 fouls a game, so he's pretty smart. He's got two right now. And they go right to Milner with Kata on the bench, and he's able to kiss it off the glass. Take that, Coach Gillen. Division two, my nose. Pete, there's nothing wrong with Division II. No, I'm not saying. No, I'm just saying it's a big <laughs> jump, but he's doing a nice job. And Bean with the answer off the glass. 20 points in the paint for Boise State. And an offensive foul called on Shaver. That'll be his second foul. When Shaver was at University of Portland, he took 18 to 20 shots a game. Here, with so much talent around him for the Broncos, he doesn't get that many touches. Good call. Push. Ashworth, maybe a little acting, but I think a good call. Bishop's is doing, a, I think, an excellent job, Tom. Michael Greenstein is the referee for tonight's ball game. Tommy Nunez, Nate Harris, the other two officials. One minute to play in the first half. Bearstall on the baseline. That was an impressive shot. That would have won any game of horse, Pete. A tough shot. Sean Bearstall from Australia, 6 8 up. Yeah, he loves coming off ball screen, Austin. You guys does. stay on him. Acrobatic shot somehow got it off the glass in the rim to tie the game at 37. Oh, forget about it. He's on fire. He wants to go back to the big dance. 18 points, stop. 27 points last game. Alston is on fire. From Utah State, don't let him touch the ball. Try not everything you can. Don't let Alston touch the ball. Game clock winding down. Under 10 seconds. They go inside to a wide open bean. He was shocked he was wide open like that. Great set play. Nice back screen. Nice finish. And now Dennis, and it's blocked away, and that is the end of the first half. And by the way, just a reminder, a couple guys out. Dutrieve is out because of a dental emergency for Boise State. Uh, Raleigh Wooster is on the bench in a boot. 
So he is usually the starting point guard for Utah State. That is why Ashworth is starting. Both play, but Wooster is usually the starter. Ashworth up top to Bean to Miller. A little touch pass to Anthony, and his th uh, three is no good. Key jab, he may be the key with the rebound. Exactly, Tom. Terrific player. Here we go. That's Here we go. Ray J. Ray J. Dennis. Yeah, we're tied at 39. Again, 900 fans at Boise yep. State for this ball game. Making noise. That was a big bucket for Ray J. Dennis, the point guard. Get his confidence going. And help facilitate for his teammates. Oh, man, what about that move? Keeping the pivot foot. Kata. Get the ball to the big dog. Let him eat. Herschel Walker, you know, the big dog from Georgia. Football player. Oh, I remember. I was just saying, let the big dog eat. Well, give the big dog Kata the ball. Alston thinking about the answer off the glass. Too strong. Bad angle. Ashworth with the rebound. Here come the Aggies. Anthony into the paint. Step to the bucket. Off the glass. Got the roll. It's good. Boy, he's playing aggressively. A terrific job. Marco Anthony. Set out last year. Played for the University of Virginia. And now Armouche and doesn't get the bucket, but he'll get a couple of free throws. Bean will be called for the foul. Nice pick and roll. Alston does a nice job. Both the cater inside. Nice drop step. Boom, go zip. Use the rim as a protector. Left handed. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Don't be so mean. Don't play so rough, big fella. All right, so Armouche to the free throw line. Pete, does it surprise you that it's 22 22 points in the paint? Sorry, Tom. Do, does it surprise you that it's 22 22 points in the paint? Yeah, a little bit. I'm, I'm surprised that uh, the Broncos are getting that many points in the paint. You know what I mean? Because uh, usually Utah State's one of the best in the country in defending the two point shots. All the teams are like 42%. So I'm surprised that the Broncos are doing that well scoring in the paint. Yeah, for Utah State, it's not surprising because they averaged almost 44% of their points in the paint. Armouche makes both free throws. It's a two point game, 43 41. Yep. I like this. Press them. They'll turn it over. They're 14 turnovers a game. Press Utah State. Got a freshman point guard. He's a good player, Tom, but he's a freshman. Yeah, he is an excellent like player. Bambi. You're right. He's like Bambi. I press Bambi. <laughs> Bambi came out. The <laughs> Here's Kata. Oh, 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 oh man. my goodness. Tom, I got to wear a helmet now. We're not that close to the action. That guy is what a player. Kata has 18 points. He matches Alston's 18 points. He jab up top. Ray J. Dennis trying to answer, and Kata got a piece of it, and man, Armouche went to the ground hard, and they're going to get Bean for the foul. Watch this pass. Nice pass by Ashworth. Good finish. Yeah. Terrific hands. Good feet. Nice pick and roll. Perfect pass. Armouche goes up. Kata goes up higher. Send it home, big guy. Send it home. All right, so the foul was called on Bean. He has three. Miller has three also for Utah State. Yep. Uh, the shot clock at 20 is Alston will in inbound. Key Jeff, get aggressive now. Want the ball. Good player. Alston has it knocked away. Anthony right. with the defense. Ashworth to Kata. Kata backing his way in, isolating. Little help by Acott. Miller lets it fly. Acott a little shoulder, a little shoulder shake before he got it into the hands of Key Jab. Almost attack him down. Nice pass to Austin and the left handed jab. How about that? Nice cut, nice pass by Almush. Eric Alston. Fabulous player, Richard Senior. It's a two-point lead for Utah State. Little high-low. Cato with the catch and doesn't get the finish, but he's going to get a couple free throws. Tom, both these teams, the NCAA tournament teams, no doubt, in my view, and they're dangerous. When they get in there, they're going to do some damage. 
I think you could say that for all of the Mountain West teams that are going to get to the NCAA tournament. No question. San Diego State's a fabulous team. They deserve to be in the tournament. They're going to be very dangerous. And Colorado State, what a year they've had. Colorado State, as you know, has beaten Boise State, Utah State, and San Diego State, the three of the other top teams. So Colorado State deserves to go. It's been a terrific year for the Mountain West. Milner checks in. Armouche out with three personal fouls. Kata to the free throw line. He's got a season high 19 points. Make it 20. Stepping up once again. Milner, a young player, not that strong. I'd go inside a can again. Keep giving it to the big fella. Alston is off to the right. Acott for three. No good. And the rebound by Utah State with a tip from Kata. Anthony to Ashworth. Ashworth bounce pass inside to Kata, and he's yep. fouled from behind by Milner. Good job. They're looking for him. Looking inside. That's smart basketball by the Aggies. All right, so the shot clock will stay at 23. Tom, when I coach, and you're going against a great big guy, and I coach against a lot of great big guys, we play some zones. It's for a cup of coffee, even though we're in a zone team, just to protect the paint. Have a man and a half around him. There's one guy can't guard him. Yeah, particularly Milner. Nothing against Milner, no. but he's a tough, and he did a nice job there. Yeah, no, nothing against Milner. He's a nice player, but mm -hmm. Cater is a tremendous player. Alston working against Anthony off the screen. They want to get it back to Alston. Key jab dribbles toward a triple team. Down low to Milner. Milner gets Kata off his feet and feeds the front of the rim. Nice shot, Milner. 47-45. Bean fadeaway jumper. Grazes the front of the rim. And here come the Broncos down by two. To the corner, Alston for three. Got it to go. Easy money, Tom. That's easy money. Look at him. He's talking. The dancing. Look at these guys. <laughs> Forget about it. Tom, I'm tight as a clam. I pay to go to this, this game. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't go for ice water. <laughs> One point lead. Kita trying to give Utah oh. State the lead, and he does with a jam. It's the Kata Alston show. Unbelievable. Terrific game. Alston trying to answer, has it partially blocked by Anthony. Here come, comes Miller. Side winding up the floor. Miller from Ashworth. Hmm. What does Ian Eagle call it? Well, they're the two gun, the two big guns tonight, and they are really. I mean, Kata, 22 points. One of four Aggies to have a 20-point game this year. Kijab for three, no good. And Kata got great position to get that rebound. It's number six. See, some of the players haven't taken many shots, Tom, so there's no rhythm. A lot of these guys. Kijab hasn't taken a shot in a long time. Shaver hasn't taken a shot in a long time. He's out of the game now, so. And Kata over the top. No good. The putback, though, is good by Alfonso Anderson. Tremendous guy off the bench. I'll tell you, I'd like to see him get even more time, Tom. Terrific player. Utah State's bench averages nearly 22 points per game. Key jab has it knocked away out of bounds. Ooh. Lucky. Willing to juggle that. Got a break. <clears throat> Shot clock is at 20. 13.49 to play here in the second half. I'd like to see Key jab be more aggressive. Attack the basket off the bounce. Dennis off the inbounds doesn't get it to go. Milner keeps it alive before Anderson pulls it out of the air. Miller's wide open for three. In and out. He's been cool tonight. Yep. 0 for 4 from beyond the arc. And he's, as you know, he's been shooting great this year from three-point land. He's shooting 43% from downtown. Last year it was only 30%. The year before that, only 35. We talked to Coach Craig Smith, you and I, and he said he really worked hard during the summer, tweaked his shot a little bit. He's had a, a great year shooting from downtown. Baycott hoping to run the point. Alston's in the corner to the right. That 
That's a three. That's good. Nothing but net for Ray J. Dennis. He's a guy. He's got a big heart. He's only a sophomore from the Chicago land area. And he struggled last couple of games. A little bit of a slump, but uh, I think he's coming out of it now, Tom. He could be the catalyst. He could be the glue. Well, you mentioned it. it's got to be some of the secondary players that have to come to life. Kata inside. Tough shot. Knocked away. Milner did a great job. Pick up the Broncos. Acott looking in. Milner posting up. The runner is no good. Loose ball. Anderson with the rebound. Keep going to Kata now. He's got a mismatch. Ooh, open screen. Ray J. Dennis, splash, he needed that one. That's not his strength, only shooting about 24% from three-point land. Kata got hit. But he got hit on the way up. Kata's got three fouls, Tom, that movement screen. Yeah. It's a big key to the game now, tie score. Tied up at 51. Max Rice back in the game. He's number 12. There's Alston. Working against Anthony. Alston right side of the lane. Cut off at a double team. Turnaround jumper. No good. Anderson with the board. Here comes Ashworth. Extra pass to Anthony. And a hand checking foul on the floor. I know you got to call it. But That's a touch foul, Tom. Yeah, but you got to. That's like Donnie Banks. Play go. Donnie Banks. Little play. Tom, we're not here to hold hands. Little play basketball. It was a touch for him. And it didn't disrupt the flow no, of the game. No, Tom. Very cerebral. That's a great comment. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tied at 51. 12 10 to play. Ashworth will inbound. Way up top for Anderson. Here's Anthony. Take him now. Mismatch. Little guy on you. Anthony has it knocked away. Dennis with the good defense. I like the vibes coming out of Ray J. Dennis, defensively, offensively. Body language is better. Yes, no question. Takes it up top for Shaver, no good. Ball is tipped back out. He can make that. Alston gets his man off his feet, swings it. They go to the corner. Keyjam for three, no good. And a rebound by Bearstow. Anthony in the paint, outside for Anderson. Got it to go. I love Alfonso Anderson, boy. He's a terrific player. Great points off the bench. It's score inside, outside. He is Neither five tonight. Downtown, Tom, right? Both teams are cold. Dennis to the corner. Alston for three. High arcing shot. No good. And Bearstow at the rebound. Stolen away by Shaver. Rice for three. The answer. Max Rice. Tom, what a game we got. These are NCAA tournament teams. Mark it down. They're that good. Tied at 54, under 11 to play in the second half. Anderson left alone. Easy two-handed jam. Right. Got to take his sunglasses off. He's got to play more, Tom. <laughs> Terrific player, Alfonso Anderson. Craig Smith's a lot smarter than me, but I like him. There we go. And KJ back and forth we go. It's a one-point lead for the Broncos. They've made their last two after missing their last five. There Stowe, right side of the lane. Runners no good. Ball is loose. And here comes Ray J. Dennis. Boise stayed up by one. Rice heads to the basket. Off the glass. Count the yes. bucket. Teams just as Colorado State is right now, San Diego State is right now, and Nevada is knocking on the door. Yep. Max Rice finishes off this three point play. He has six quickly That's for Boise right. State. Well, he and Ray J. Dennis had to struggle a little bit, Tom, the last few games. It's great to see them step up in this big time game. Kate is back in. He has three fouls. He's number 23 for Utah State. He's yep. their best player. Yep. Go right at him. Go right at Kate. Try to get him the fourth foul. That's a good look to Bean, who lays it in. That's the 13th assist for Utah State. Yep, they share the ball really well. Key jab. Blocked from behind by Kata. The ball loose. Boise State has it. Armouche. 
They're going to pick and roll, bring the big guy out. Extra pass for Rice. Is he hot? Too strong. Bean trying to tie it or give Utah State the lead. Ashworth off the screen by Kata. Ashworth leans in, doesn't get the roll, and Kijab, I believe, touched that last. Yep. Kata is one of the top shot blockers in the country. He blocks three a game. Here we go. Goes in, gets a little piece of it. Kijab, tremendous shot blocker. Three a game, sixth leading shot blocker in the country. Is there is there a science in going after a shot blocker like that? Is there? Yeah, you got to attack. You got to take it to the chin. You can't give them the angle. You got to go at them. They're not doing that. Shot clock at seven. Off the glass, no good. Shaver with the rebound. Push it now, Broncos. Utah State's not great in that transition game. Halston is on the bench. He's the leading scorer for Bo for Boise State. Key jab, a little jab step, jumper is no good. And the ball tipped to Bean. Push it. Look at the big guy, Kate is running. Get him the ball. Well, Get the big guy it. the ball. Yeah, he wants it. And a foul from behind. Armouche called for the foul. That's number four on him. Armouche, good, good job. Yeah, we look at Kate is running the court. You can just see his feet right away before, right? The big guy, Armouche, can get position. Great job by getting the big guy the ball. Kata, tremendous player. What a future he has in basketball. Ashworth back to Kata. Kata working against Milner, running in the lane, gets the roll. Kata with 24. Tom, it's Kata's world. We're just passing through it. <laughs> He's the man. It's been enjoyable passing through it, oh, though. Oh, boy, I like a little glimpse of that. Kate has matched his career high in points with 24. Tied up at 60. Shaver. Ray J. Dennis step back three. And it's good. Oh, he it. Tom, you remember last year, he got 19 points in a comeback win. Ray J. Dennis, he's back. He's back. Now seven threes for Boise State. Take him, big fella. And Kata does. Quick step and over the top of Milner. Career high now, Pete. Yep, he makes the game look easy, Tom. There are times where he really does make the game look easy. It's like a little uh, Nerf ball set, you know, in yep. your bedroom. He's like nerfing it. Pull-up jumper is good by Shaver. Now we got a little flow offensively. Yep. <laughs> Three-point lead. Double screen set by Kata. Ashworth for three, no good. Ball is loose. Milner keeps it alive for Boise State. And to the floor is Anthony, and he calls a timeout with three fouls for Utah State. Yeah. Question is, now, when do you get Almush back in the game, Tom? You know what I mean? So you don't want to wait too much, too much time. Right now, 6.46. I go five minutes. I put him back in. I'm Utah State. I'm going inside to Kata. Give him the ball. Let the big dog eat. Give him the ball, please. Bean to the baseline. He gives it to Kata outside. His 15-footer no good. And Shaver with the rebound. That's not the shot I wanted. I'm Coach Greg Smith. He's done a, a great job for the Aggies the last three years. Alston, by the way, back in. He has 23 for Boise State. He's number 21. This is Key Jab. Bounce pass, that's a tough one. Milner couldn't stretch to get it. That was a yep. tough pass. Stepping up. I love. Marco Anthony's doing a wonderful job for the end. Oh, ah, not a good foul. Yeah, Alston called for the foul. Tom, I like the idea of pressing. I think you can bother Utah State by pressing them. They don't like that. You might not steal it, but you get him out of sync. Don't let him walk it up and throw it into the big guy. I don't want him to do that. Also, got to put a little more pressure on the dribbler. Anthony covered by Alston. Out to Ashworth for three, and it's off the front of the rim. Key jab with the rebound. Not the shot you wanted. Hit the ball to Kata. Guy was defending Ashworth. It's a pressure mistake. And Alston 
Has it blocked by Kata? It's going to be a jump ball, and the possession remains with the Broncos. Yep. Good defense that time by the Aggies. Let me correct that. It goes to the Aggies. The officials switched it. Yep. Referee gave a different signal. Five and a half to play in the second half. It's a three-point game. Bean to Anthony, and Milner is going to be called for the foul, working against Kada. That's the sixth team foul for Boise yep. State. It's going to be big down the stretch. Both these teams shoot about 72% from the free throw line. Pretty even in the charity strike. <laughs> Miller off the three. He's fouled and will go to the free throw line for three. Good call. Nice out of bounds play by the Aggies. All right, so the foul is on Kijab. Where was his foot, Pete? Oh, yeah, it was he got his line. wrist, I thought. Yeah, he definitely got, got his wrist. He definitely hit his wrist. All right, so Miller, who is 81%. Now they've switched it. They said it's a two-shot foul. Yeah, his foot was on the line, and he missed the first one. 81%, and he missed the first one. That is the uh, first miss or second miss of the night for Utah State from the free throw line. Missed two. That is shocking. But the rebound for Utah State. Miller for three. That's too strong. Kato with the rebound. Can't give the Aggies three chances. No. We'll make you pay. Down by three, little double team. Kata skips out of it, inside for Anthony. Five minutes to play, Anthony turnaround. Jumper is good, it's a one point game. Marco Anthony's doing a great job for the Aggies. Really stepping up, playing with a sense of urgency. It's a big, big game for both teams now. They want to improve their net, want to build their resume for the postseason. Jab. Kato with the help. Dennis, shot clock is under 10. Goodbye him. Shaver for three, way downtown. Shaver's a tremendous three-point shooter. He hadn't had many looks. And Ashworth called for the traveling violation. It's a four-point lead for Boise State. And they'll get the basketball back. How about this move? That's a nice move. Bridges man in. Left-handed. Fades away. Splash. Shaver from way downtown. <laughs> Boom. Very good three-point shooter. I go back to him, Tom. I think he's feeling it. He's a streaky guy. Run something for Shaver now. Shaver has nine. Alston leads the way with 23. Armouche back in. He has four fouls. And Dennis to the basket. Count the bucket and a foul on Kata. They went to Shaver. They said a double screen for him. A stagger double. It's great coaching by Leon Rice. Get the ball to the hot guy. Here he comes off two screens. Mm. Go by Miller. Attacks the cup. Nice finish. Transfer from Portland. Tremendous left hand going at the big guy. That's four on Kata. Yep. And Shaver trying to pick up his 12th point. He's the second Bronco into double figures. And he does. 70 to 71 64. Yep. You got to keep him out there with four no feet. No question. No, you, you don't want to be the richest guy in the graveyard. You know what I mean? Put him in and just. Try to be politically correct. Greg Smith, a fabulous coach. Say, hey, be smart. They're going to run horns next time down. Right? Horns. Two big guys up top. B looking into Kata, covered by Milner. Isolation, no help. Kata off the glass like a Nerf ball, as Pete said. <laughs> Great call by Craig Smith. Coach Smith called that play. Tom, right? They got it. Good execution that time by the Aggies. 71 66. The largest lead tonight for Boise State was eight. That was in the first half. 
Acott was wide open. There he is. He was wide open going to the basket, and he's fouled from behind. He's to the free throw line. Front end is good. That's been a storyline. Where the end one is good. It's 12 for 12, or they're 12 for 12 from the free throw line. 74-66 matches the largest lead of the game thanks to a 9-2 run. They don't want to double him, Tom. They don't want to give an open three. Mamouche got his hands full. Oh, good call. He got fouled. Good call. That'll be number five on Armouche. It's a good call. He bided him. Back his man in. Pivots. No, bumped him with his chest. That's a good call. Yeah, their feet got tangled up also. Yeah. So Armouche will leave with eight points. Eight points, seven rebounds for Armouche. The foul trouble sort of knocked him off kilter. Yeah. Once again, he's going against arguably the player of the year of the conference. Got a great shot at it. Him or Alston, Matt Mitchell from San Diego State's a great player. Been injured. You know, so there's other candidates for sure. Katie tonight, seven for seven from the free throw line, 29 points. He's one point away from reaching 30 for the first time in his career. And it's the first time in his career that he hits 30 points in a game. It's 74-68. Ashworth is back in. A little full court pressure now by yep. Utah State. Two possession game. Got to dig in now. Aggies get a stop. Shaver nearly walked with that. I go to Austin now. Go to your best player. Let him touch it. Acott working against Bean one on one. Acott cut off in a double team. Tried a tough pass to Milner as it's knocked out of bounds by Utah State. Also, yeah. 14 wins, the most in Boise State history. Past Bobby Dye in the same amount of games that Bobby had won 213. Shot clock is at five. Acott step back three, lets it fly. No good. Rebound Kata, number eight. Yeah. Olsen got to touch the basketball. What's the matter? Trying to go to Brock Miller, see if we can get a three for Brock Miller. Great three point shooter. Yeah, he's 0 for 5 tonight from beyond the arc. That's a huge storyline. Kata knocked away by Milner. Kata underneath gets his way to the basket, tries to force his way in. Milner's able to defend him nicely. Broncos got a break then. That was halfway down. Two minutes to play. Take their time. They go to Shaver coming off the screen or Alston clear out. Shaver's number zero. Alston's 21 for Boise State. Shot clock is at five. Acott inside to Milner stumbling to the basket, lays it in. Beautiful play by Milner. Great pass, great catch by Milner. He has really played well. Yep. Great at home. Tom, 9-0 uh, this year, as you mentioned before, right? 21 out of 22. Last team to beat him was San Diego State. In February last year. Off the timeout, Ashworth looking for Kata, working against Milner. Kata into the paint, off the glass. No good, it went in and out for the second time. Yep. The slam dunk went in and out yep. a moment ago. Yeah. Yep. Couple of good bounces for the Broncos. Is it time to start thinking about fouling if yeah, you're you foul Utah now. State? Three possession game. I would foul the young guy. You gotta give one. It was a foul. We're trying to foul. She's a little keep away. Yeah, you got a foul. I fell Ray J. Dennis. Down three possessions, eight points. Acott's open for three. It's no good. Bean with the rebound. You gotta push it, Aggies. Here's Anthony back to Bean. Bean for three. It's no good. And a rebound is taken out by Ray J. Dennis. Alston on the alley oop. He couldn't finish because the foul from behind on Bean. Tom, I would have brought it back out then. The clock's your best friend. You don't need an alley oop. Ray J. Dennis, I know you're up eight. It's not over yet. It's a great shape. Pull it back out. No, you don't need it, Ray J. No, not a good decision. 
Got a break on that. And by the way, look at Bean going right over to Alston because yeah. he, he wanted to make sure he knew that no. he didn't foul him to hurt him. No, he's a great young man. Alston to the free throw line. Broncos are 13 for 13 from the free throw line tonight. Trying to make this a 10 point game. This right now is the largest of the night. Yep. And coming back against Friday night, another one of these games. And the first miss of the night, I blame that on Pete. Nine rebounds for Kata. Need a three now. Need a three. They go inside to Kata. And Kata will get a chance for a three point play as Milner came down on top of him. Yep. Let him go. Milner's done a great job, Tom, but that was not a good decision then. Pick and roll. Both guys go with Anthony. Pump fake. Nice finish for the big guy. Milner's late getting back. There's no help, no rotation. Acott should have been in there to help out Tom from the weak side. Now it's not over yet. If he makes this, it's a two possession game. Yep. Put the pressure on, try to get a steal. 77-70. Kane is 8 for 8 from the free throw line. Make it 8 of 9. Alston with the rebound. And now they're trying to foul him, and they do. Ashworth fouls him. And he is the best free throw shooter. He and Shaver for Boise State. Yep. Yeah. That hurt. Again. Each team is playing without an injured player. Dutree, who's so good defensively and is uh, continuing to get better offensively. Dental emergency for Boise State. Meanwhile, Raleigh Wooster, the starting point guard for Utah State, is in a boot on the sidelines as Alston converts the front end of the one and one to make it 78 70. Yep. There's Wooster. There's Wooster, yep. It was a big loss. Ten points a game. Freshman from Montana. He's had a great first year. Second shot is good. Three possession game. Three threes would tie it. Not a lot of time left, though. As Miller loses it out of bounds, it'll be Boise State basketball. How about the job that Boise State... Yeah. Full court pressure by Utah State. Just probably not enough time left in this yeah. game. I don't think they get a foul. I don't think so. They hadn't played in 13 days. We wondered how sharp they would be. I don't think that had much to do with it. Maybe for Miller, who was scoreless from beyond the arc. Yep. That was a big part. They defended Miller. Good job defending him. Great win for Leon Rice. Great win. Three and three in their last six games, so this is a giant win for the Broncos. He's done a heck of a job at Boise State. He was at Gonzaga for 11 years as Mark Few's assistant. He said that was tough leaving Gonzaga because he, his family, and the Few family were so close. Yep. But he's done a wonderful job here. 11th year at Boise State, the dean of the Mountain West coaches. Ashworth and Anderson for three. It's an air ball, loose ball, picked up by Utah State, stolen away by Ray J. Dillard, Shaver. And that'll do it. Boise State wins it.